it's literally what it says. So it's designing for interactions, in particular where a human being meets a computer. That's interaction design. And the role of an interaction design is to design that process in the best way possible. Uh, mostly it's about preparing the students for a real life situation once they graduate. Um, and at HarperSpace, we really try to prepare the students so that by the time they leave, they have a really, really solid base to start from. I think a lot of students will probably be surprised how much they will learn about themselves and how much they will encounter themselves as they go through this process. It's not an easy year by any means. There will be a lot of ups and downs for them. Uh, but I think at the end of it, my, my goal for the students as they leave is that they feel confident, not only in themselves, but also in their abilities and that they carry themselves confidently as they enter the working world. I don't care if you're good at design, I don't care if you've never even heard of design, that can all be taught. But what can't be taught is the right attitude. And the right attitude is not only important in school and design, but important anywhere in life. So whatever your edge of your abilities are, whatever your 100% is, that's all that matters to me. And someone's 100% is different than someone else's 100%. But at the edge of working on your abilities is really where I want the students to be. Once they're done studying, um, they will have a toolkit to basically do any kind of interaction design job. So they could potentially start working as a service designer for a company like, let's say, Fjord or IDEO. Or they could work as an interaction designer in the digital space and work for agencies and work on client projects in any agency anywhere in the world. Uh, they could join a startup um, and work with a team from scratch. They could start their own startup and start their own projects and start their own companies. Um, but ultimately, the process of design is really applied pretty similarly no matter where you work and no matter what type of design job you have. So whatever the student's personal interests are once they graduate, they will be able to find a field that suits them while still applying the, same, the, the exact same design principles and the, design, the same design process as all the other students will who are also in their class. Ooh, so many things. Um, I think the hardest thing about being a design student is that we tend to focus a lot on the design, which of course makes sense because you're studying design. So we learn about layouts and hierarchy and how to communicate effectively and you know typography and all of these things. And they're super, super important, of course. But what's actually more important as a designer is that you learn how to convince other people of your work and how to sell your work and how to work in a team and how to work with a client. And if you end up running your own business at some point, how to run a design business. So all of the sort of soft skills that, um, you know, we kind of assume people will just know or they'll just pick up along the way uh, are never really taught in schools. And when we started the program, it was a very big discussion that we wanted to make sure that People not only had the hard skills leaving Harvest Space, but they also had the hard skills, uh, the soft skills that they needed in order to succeed um, wherever they may end up as a designer, whether it's a studio or a startup, it doesn't matter. Um, those soft skills, I think, are almost more important than the hard skills. The program's ultimate goal is to produce designers who will go out and change the world for the better.